Hey everybody, I'm Dave Lewick, the Trapper Guy. I'm a nuisance wildlife trapper in the Tampa Bay area of Florida, and today I'm going to be talking about bird feeders. Now, specifically what I'm going to be talking about with bird feeders is as they pertain to my job as a nuisance wildlife trapper. Now, I gotta tell you, I love bird feeders. They make me a lot of money in my business. I get a lot of customers to call and they have different types of problems with different rodents or different types of critters getting in their attic or on the outside. And very often they have either cat food that they're feeding cats on the outside or they have bird feeders. Now people go out and buy bird feeders and they're usually setting it up right by their window so you can see the birds. But what they don't see is at night, uh, the seed that gets knocked on the ground, it's bringing rats in. And of course, a lot of times you'll see during the day, even if you buy a squirrel proof feeder, uh, you'll see squirrels on it and, and other type of critters. And you get the rats coming in, you'll also get raccoons. You wouldn't think they would care about eating little tiny seed, but they will. And also things like opossums and other critters. And then you bring the predators in like the coyotes. So you have that concentrated food source that's there never ending and it's just going to be a constant flow of critters. Now a lot of you might be saying, hey great, I got a bunch of different critters coming in. Who cares if I'm just feeding the birds? Well the problem is, is the different issues that you have with the different type of rodents and mammals that come in. Now the number one issue I see is basically when the animals have that food source right there, um, just like anybody else, uh, they can be as lazy as humans. They want to be able to live right close to the food source. It's like me having an apartment above a pizza parlor. So they'll find a little opening somewhere that you didn't know you had on your house, uh, somewhere in a vent um, or soffit or something like that. And then they'll go up and live in the attic when all they have to do is just climb down a wall and just hop down to the bird feeder. Now, obviously the easiest way not to have problems with wildlife is to get rid of the bird feeder altogether. But I know a lot of you love the bird feeders and full disclosure here for some of my video, I put a bird feeder in my backyard so I can get some birds on it. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's kind of cool watching all the birds come into it. But if you're in love with bird feeders and you want to have them, uh, there are some tips and things you can do to lessen problems with nuisance wildlife. Now first and foremost is what I was talking about, them getting into your attic or underneath your house. Before you ever even put the bird feeder up, or if you have it up now, just immediately go around your house and you can call a professional like me to come out and take a look at everything and seal stuff up. Or just go around yourself and just find every little tiny hole or ways where critters can get into your house and seal those areas off. Now if you're having problems just on the outside with nuisance wildlife, like raccoons coming up at all odd times of the day, um, losing their fear of humans, or even drawing in coyotes that you might be worried about your small pets, um, to keep that bird feeder really you're going to need to take it in at night. A lot of these animals are nocturnal so you're going to have to take the bird feeder in and, and to really be good at it you want to put a tray under that bird feeder so it drops all the seed onto it so you can take that tray up and the bird feeder. It's a lot of work but if you have a, a severe problem with nuisance wildlife on the outside it's either get rid of the bird feeder or put in that extra work. Now another thing I've seen that help is the type of feed you put in bird feeders. Uh, the cheapest feed is usually that mix that's got all the, the, the millet in it mixed in with some sunflower seed. And what the birds do is they really like that sunflower seed and a lot of them will just pick through that millet and knock it on the ground. And now you have all that stuff on the ground that the millet, the rats and things like that really love to eat. So if you just go out and get the sunflower seed, the black oil sunflower seed, it's a little bit more expensive, but usually you'll have a little bit less of a problem. Now also, if you like feeding the birds, another alternative to bird feeders, which you don't seem to have as much as the same problems because it's not a concentrated food source, is get rid of your bird feeders and go to some native plant stores. There's a lot of different native uh, hedges, bushes, trees that fruit or seed at different times of the year and uh, that brings in a ton of birds. I've done my yard with native plants and stuff and I immediately started seeing more birds in my yard. And that usually works out better because it's just different times of the year, different plants. It's not that one concentrated source so every night critters just keep coming into that one spot. Hey, so if you're not absolutely in love with those bird feeders, go ahead and get rid of them. And if you do love them, uh, take those extra precautions like I said. 
And uh, if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell down below so you know when the new videos come out.